When spending time in nature, there comes a time when you're miles from the nearest outhouse and you gotta go, now. Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm here to teach you how to poop in the woods. When looking for a place to poop, there's several things you need to look for. First, you need to be about 200 feet away from the nearest campsite, your campsite, nearby trails, or the nearest water source. All right, let's go. The next thing you need to look for is privacy. This seems like a nice spot. You've got trees, other protection. When spending time in the wilderness, it's important to bring a poop kit along. These usually include a plastic bag full of toilet paper, a spare Ziploc bag, hand sanitizer, a wag bag, I'll teach you how to use those later, and either a stick or a trowel. A cat hole is another word for the hole that you're going to dig and which you're going to poop into. When you're done digging your hole, you want it to be about six inches deep and four inches wide. Then you're going to poop directly into your hole. Enjoy the views while you're here. You're going to fill in your hole, being careful not to let your trowel or your stick touch the actual poop. Once you're done filling it in, you're going to just tap it down and make it match its surrounding areas. When you're done, you're gonna wanna use hand sanitizer, scrubbing vigorously. Small amounts of toilet paper are acceptable in most locations. However, to be completely leave no trace compliant, you're gonna pack out any used toilet paper that you use. If you don't have toilet paper, other options include smooth rocks, sticks, leaves, or pine cones. Just make sure that you know the difference between poison ivy or other poisonous plants. Cat holes are acceptable in most locations. However, if you want to be completely leave no trace compliant, you're going to want to use a wag bag. Okay. To use a wag bag, first you're going to open it. Inside should be toilet paper and a sanitation packet. The bag itself consists of extra protection and silica gel to absorb any extra liquid waste. To use it, you're going to bend and squat over the hole, just like this is your cat hole. You can also make sort of a throne using natural features. Once you're done, you're gonna pull the tabs like you would a trash can, tie it off, roll it back into the bag, and then seal it most of the way. Now here comes the fun part. You can squeeze it, looking away, and finish sealing it to get all the air out. Once it's sealed, you're gonna put it in your backpack or your friends, and you're gonna pack it out until you find the nearest trash can. Yeah. And why is this important? We want to minimize water contamination, social and aesthetic impact, the spread of disease, and we want to maximize decomposition. And lastly, I'm gonna show you different squatting techniques because as we all know, form is important. The thigh burner. This is a rookie mistake. Not only does it kill your legs, but come on, man, you gotta have style. The rock assist. The tree assist. The seated assist. And lastly, and my personal favorite, the squat. And finally, here's some do's and don'ts for pooping in the woods. Don't use too much toilet paper. Do limit yourself to one to two pieces of toilet paper. We're in a pandemic. <laughs> Don't just cover your poop with a rock. Do use a wag bag or dig a cat hole. Don't poop near trails, water sources, or campsites, even if you don't like the people camping next to you. Maintain a distance of 200 feet. And look, if you see wildlife while you're pooping, you get extra points. <laughs>